Hello. In this video, I would like to show you how to set up global site groups for a multi-site configuration. Global site groups are a way to organize the master servers and master recorders and to control the global groups that are synchronized to the different masters. To start, launch Control Center and log in using the MSS Admin user account. This will open up the multi-site management console. Click on the global site groups in the left pane. On the right, you will see the default container called MSS. Under this, you will see any masters already joined to the multi-site. A global site group is a container listing all of the masters associated with it. To create a new global site group, click the plus sign. Type in the name for the new global site group and hit enter. Once a new global site group is created, you will see three tabs in the bottom pane. The first tab is the general tab and lists the name of the global site group. The second tab is Sites. It shows which sites or masters are synchronizing settings from this site group. The third tab is Permissions. It allows you to specify which global groups are synchronized and show up on the masters that are a part of this global site group. In our example, the multi-site admins group will be synchronized to the master, but not the security group. To further explain these settings, I will use the master MR1 to highlight how the Sites and permission tabs are used. By moving a master in your list under the newly created site group and clicking apply, you will see that master added to the sites list. This means global user groups selected on the permissions tab will be synchronized to the masters listed under the sites tab. When working with the permissions tab, you select which global user groups should be synchronized and show up in control centers groups and privileges workspace. When you create new groups, you will need to update the Permissions tab to include the new groups before they will show up under the local site. If we log out and log back into Control Center as a local administrator, we will see that the only global group showing up is the multi-site admins. Now we will log back in as the MSS admin and update which groups are synchronizing. To do this, click on the Site Group and go to the Permissions tab. To include the Security Group as part of the synchronization, click the checkbox next to it. Then click Apply. Logging back in as the local administrator, we will now see both groups show up on the local server. The privileges can now be configured for the site using these global user groups. Logging back in as the MSS admin, we will see that global site groups can also be nested and permissions set on a higher level group will propagate to any lower level site group. In the test environment, we will create a new global site group test1 under the test global site group. Looking at the permissions for test 1, the security global user group is already checked because it is being inherited from the test site group. You cannot uncheck this. In order to change this, the higher level test site group must have the security global user group unchecked. By making this change, MR1 will no longer have the security group synchronized since it is part of the test site group. If we want the security group synchronized with MR1, security must be checked under the test1 site group and then MR1 must be moved under the test1 site group. We click apply to save these changes. Keep in mind that global site groups are optional and can be set up to be simple or complex depending on the needs of the system. Most systems are set up to only use the default MSS site group. Doing this will synchronize all selected global user groups to all masters in the multi-site system. However, this can be changed or expanded as described previously to suit different needs. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Verant Technical Support Team. Thanks for watching and have a great day.